All right, welcome to the Hugh News Channel. Uh, we're going to run a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, do a few loads. Let's see what's available right now. We can do. Let's see where we're at. Also, not sure where we're at. So let's look at the map here. Uh, we are in Venice. Uh, Let's see what's available. All right, I got cargo weight as the top one. I like the heavy trips. So, from Venice, we have square tubing going over to Calvi. So we can take a trip over through Italy, take the ferry over. Let's do that one. That looks like a fun trip. Let's do that trip. Okay, so we selected the trip. Uh, as soon as it loads up here, we're going to go pick up the load. And venture on over to, it looks like Sicily. I guess that's what that little country is there. I'll have to look it up on a map. But it looks like Sicily. Looks like I may need a little bit of work, but let's go try it anyway. Let's see what happens. I can stop right up here and do that. There should be a place up here I can uh, stop and uh, get my truck worked on. Still trying to get used to this uh, shifter on this. Uh, European style reverses uh, where low is on ATS. Um, and also, you usually can get but a uh, like a 16th speed or something. Sometimes it's 14, sometimes it's 12. Let's go in here and uh, fix the old truck up. 18 euros, 18,000 euros, sorry. So, let's go uh, pick up the load now. Take a left here, and we're going to take another left. So let's uh, go into freight market here, select the load, same load as we selected earlier, right there it is. So let's uh, get her turned around here and uh, get the trailer coupled on. Flip the switch for the coupling, and we are ready to go. We have 1,500 miles, well, 1,500 kilometers to go, so that may go pretty fast. We're going to try to get it done tonight. Let's see what happens here. I see some balloons up there in the sky. Uh, but all these roads over here are narrow. I mean, uh, I assume they are in real life because a lot of this game is made from what they really have over there. Same as in ATS. Mini Cooper, you're going to get it. Uh, so, 
a lot of the areas are alike. Not sure if I got six or seven seven gears in this one. Couldn't stop quick enough there. <laughs> Give him a little beep, see if they'll move. I'm going to have to move him. We're moving along here. Not too impressed by the jake brake. I mean, sounds like I just geared down is all. They could do a lot better job with that. So we're headed on over to uh, whatever that place is called. Uh, the hell if I know how to pronounce it. It's close to Italy, I know that. I gotta take care of something real quick. All right, I'll take care of something real quick, play this hole, and I'm ready to go. One thing about this, you gotta push this clutch all the way in. So it looks like we've got 1,481 kilometers to go. 28 hours and 46 minutes. We're running around 80 kilometers an hour right now, but we will be mo doing much more here very soon. I really enjoy American Truck Simulator, and I think I really like it better than this one. Although this one does have a really nice large map, especially with the just the game version as a big map. I added all the DLCs to it and everything and uh, a couple of heavy haul DLCs and stuff. I wonder if I turned the radio on also to some of these Italian and different language stations here that and uh, play some music in. I'm just wondering if uh, YouTube will demonetize my video like they have before. I mean, the music is uh, paid for by SCS, 
and it is played on the radio. Everything in the air is supposed to be free, so not sure why they tried to give me a strike against my copyright. Uh, because a copyright strike because I was listening to a radio station on a game. Uh, go figure, you know. I guess I better leave the radio off because uh, I would like to have my video stay up and not be banned in my country. So, so we'll just be driving down the road here and you can listen to me talk. Uh, I will take a break every now and then from talking. So. I guess I could talk about my setup here. My setup, uh, I got three monitors, uh, one 40 inch, two 30s. Uh, the 40s in the center, 30s on the sides. I had uh, two 40s and two 30s, but I couldn't get it set up correctly. Um, my view, I'm kind of picky about my view, and uh, I just didn't like my view on the four monitors. I'm using an extra monitor also, it's an LG. It's about a 32, 36 inch. I'm using it also because I want to be able to run my Discord and my OBS and everything that I'm uh, recording from on it. Uh, I got a Logitech 920 wheel a shifter. I got a SKRS on top with a Jake Brake button on it also. Although I built my own button box, I know they want about 300 grand for button boxes, and I just turned over. Um, they want about 300 grand for button boxes. So I went ahead and just built my own. Uh, I put everything that I actually need on the button box. Um, have a row of uh, toggle switches on the top that run my lights. The second row are buttons. Um, they run my cruise control, my wipers, my activate. And the third one, I mean the fourth button on that row is not attached to anything. I've never really used it. Uh, The third row is another row of toggle switches for my diff lock, my trailer coupling, my axle lift and lower, and then my jake brake, and then I have a key switch that turns it on and off and uh, starts the truck. And at the bottom I have my trailer brake or trailer air and my parking brake. I also have another button box that I created. I'm going to uh, modify it as a stream deck and also use it to control my wipe or my windows uh, and whatever else I think I might need, you know, on this game. I don't use a lot more other things. I've got a few things on my steering wheel like my map, um, my drive-by uh, view my first person, third person view, and my signal lights are my two paddle shifters. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna miss my turn off here. I don't watch. have the you know the clutch brake and pedal I got a sure mic uh, gator mic boom I created my own uh, I created my own 
CB mic. Not sure if I'm in the right place here. I think I'm in the wrong place. Uh, I created my own CB mic. I took a uh, mouse and a uh, aux cord and made my own mic out of a CB. I had to take the internals out of the CB and, and uh, solder the speaker to uh, two certain pins on the four prong adapter for the CB. And then the two connections for the mouse and I used the middle mouse button on the uh, board of the mouse. They connected all together and set my middle mouse button as my input for my mouse and all I gotta do is when I key down it automatically selects the input. I use it to talk to uh, the people on Convoy and stuff. And my boom mic here is just for streaming, uh, recording streams because I can't stream because my internet is really awful. So every stream you see from me will be a recorded one. Um, I enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Especially when you're convoying with some people and everything. It's a, it's a real blast. So we got 1,258 mile, uh, kilometers, keep saying miles, but kilometers left. Uh, Right now it's Tuesday at 12.17 p.m. So when it starts getting dark, I'll probably just change the time to morning so it's easier to run. Got her in 7th uh, high, doing about 75 kilometers an hour. Well, I thought I had 7 high. I, had a, I got a 7 low now. Apparently I don't have a seventh high where I hit that stuff earlier. I'm missing that gear. Probably won't finish this stream tonight. I'm getting a little tired or tired. Uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow again. Try to finish it up and get it uploaded so everyone can view it. Uh, come on over we to and uh, check out our channels. We have one on Twitch. And the one on YouTube is Huey News, H-U-E-Y, N-E-W-U-S. Uh, follow us, like the videos hope you like something that you find something you really like uh, share the video for us subscribe and we'll be serving up new stuff really often There is a lot of interstates on this game and a lot of toll booths. Not sure why they need all those toll booths. I mean, they're wanting to make that money for the highways and stuff. Pay those taxes.
back up to seventh low again. See what kind of speed we can get going down the highway here. like 15th gear or something. Looks like we got a some turns coming up here. I'm looking at the GPS, I'm going to slam the uh, guardrails. Tunnel on the other side. There's a little a van with a RV on the back of it there. Alright, there went the paint job. I want to tell you, these trucks are easy to turn over. They rock like crazy. I mean, they seem like they want to hold a curve, but that curve don't work, and I can't go that way. Ooh, I made a boo boo almost there. Almost messed up right there. Guess it could come through that way, also. Looks like. I don't know. That's weird. That's a weird looking uh, set of road there if you'll see them on the map. Is Geneva? Assuming it's the same Geneva I'm thinking of anyway. Switzerland? Nah, it ain't Switzerland. I don't think so. Geneva and Nizza? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Kind of interesting. Stuff to look up. Here's a tunnel. Let's hit on the uh, old wire horn while we go through here. It's a pretty long one. No, it ain't too long, but... Oh, yeah. Isn't that echo? Yeah. There's Geneva that way. We're going straight. another one. So we're right at about a thousand and seventy five kilometers now out. There's Torino. So we're going to head straight on to Niza or Niza. However that's pronounced. We go over here in the hammer lane and let this truck in. Lots of tunnels.
sure enough, told us there's no shortage of these things. Thirty-nine euros paid for the toll. One more tunnel. I'm sure it's not the last one. This is a little bit of a longer one. No, it's not. It's short. This was a long one. Rubbing all the paint off his truck and trailer. Not another one of these things. Twelve euros. Spend all your money on total boosts. Marseille. Nine hundred thirty nine kilometers left. We're doing one hundred and nineteen kilometers an hour.
these curves are tricky in these old cab over trucks. The trucks on ATS do not flip as easy as these do. These flip really easy. Not sure if there's a difference in width. Even the cab over trucks in ATS. When you're using the mods and stuff. They seem to be a lot more stable. They don't rock as bad as these trucks do. I got a Volvo truck in here uh, on a modded game. Well, it does really well. Is this another tote? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Getting tired and getting sleepy. I'm gonna do another hundred kilometers and I'm gonna shut her off for tonight and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. about to the point that I'm going to jump off here because I'm getting really tired. So let's back her down here. Well, hope you have a good night. Uh, remember to come over and check us out on uh, Huey Newest on YouTube and on Twitch. H-U-E-W-H-U-E-Y-N-E-W-U-S until I'm tired. Uh, like our streams, follow us, uh, subscribe, share anything you would like to share. And uh, we hope to see you next time.